Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 24th of 2025 is titled Titan Shadow Transit. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the planet Saturn, and every 15 years or so, the rings will appear edge on. So we're looking directly down, essentially, the equator of Saturn. And you can see how hard it is to see the rings in this image. They're not standing out, as you might have seen in other images, when they are tilted and we're looking at them from the top or the bottom a little more, which gives us a much better view. However, when this occurs, we also get transits of the moons. Now, Saturn has one large moon, and that is known as Titan, and it's actually visible in the image here off to the upper left on left side of Saturn, and it will cast a shadow just like any other object, any other solid object will cast a shadow in sunlight. Now, when Saturn is lined up like this, then that shadow can land on Saturn. And we see that there. We can see the shadow uh, across the uh, central portions of the upper region of Saturn. Now, that is, again, where an eclipse would be occurring. So if were you within the atmosphere of Saturn in that dot there, you would be seeing an eclipse of the sun. Titan would pass in front of the sun, blocking out its light and make it dark. And so just as we get a solar eclipse here on Earth, you could get a solar eclipse on Saturn when a moon passes in front of the sun. And that's the same thing we would also see from space if we were looking at Earth during an eclipse. We would see the shadow of the moon cast on Earth's surface. Now, this occurs, again, once every 15 years, but not just one time every 15 years. Because of the amount of timing, it actually happens quite often. And this one was from just about a week ago on July 18th, but about every two weeks it will do this again. In fact, every 16 days, it will come back around to the same point in the orbit. And it will continue to do that from now through October 6th. So during those times, you would be able to see a shadow transiting across Saturn. Now, after that, you will still get some transits, not of the shadow, but of Titan itself. And that will continue through January of 2026. So for that time, you would be able to see Titan passing in front, but the shadow would now be out of alignment and would, ap would appear to not actually land on the planet Saturn. So it's a chance for here, if you're a telescope user, a chance to go ahead and see if you can time this, find out when the next time this will occur, and see if that'll be during the evening time for you when Saturn is up, if you can actually find a transit of the shadow of the large moon Titan. So that was our picture of the day for July 24th of 2025. It was titled Titan Shadow Transit. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.